That's okay. Wow. Woohoo! Big boy. Big boy room. Feels dark. We didn't turn it into a raw raw like an engine dragon, did we? No. But did you see also how the this went all the way here? I think that's so cool. Oh, that Look at that. Idea. You're such a cool guy. What? I didn't even do this. This was your idea to bring it all the way in. And I, honestly, when you were telling me about it, I thought it was silly. But it's hot. It's kind of cute. It's a little torta. It's a little torta, but, but that's he... the place to do it. I feel so under the weather. But I'm hanging in there. But I'm also not participating in opening the rugs because of that. I'll be here with a smile, but I will not be here opening. Show off the rug. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is the one for downstairs. What? That's the one for the living room, I think. No, that's not, no. Well, is that the bottom or the top? Oh, shit. I think I like this little life. This little life. Alright, I gotta move this rug in, so. Let me help. I need you on one side and you on the other side, and Lua far away looking at it to see if it's leveled. Dude, I don't feel like moving things. What's he complaining about? I don't think he's complaining, I think he's just teething. This rug is from Rugs USA. Rugs USA is my girl. No, really, tell them. Rugs USA is my girl. No, like we asked for like five rugs. And they sent them all. Literally, Lauren at Rugs USA is my queen. I message her and she sends it. I'm freezing today. I don't know if I'm sick or what. Well, I'm, yeah, I was sick. Now I'm not. Now I'm not. And we were both sick. Well, honey's still sick and somehow he did not get it. Cause you're stronger than us. You're stronger than us. You're more healthy than us. You're cooler than us. Thank God. Could you imagine a sick little baby? But he has not gotten sick yet. And I like it that way. I feel like I'd freak out if he was sick. I don't know if I'm a cool, calm, collected mom. I think I would be like, ah! Yeah. Look at this big kid hand. So he'll chill in this for a little bit, but kind of quickly he'll want to be picked up. Something I'm not the best at that I really... Oh, 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 oh. I'm aiming to improve this, but it's a work in progress. Is You're supposed to let your kids be bored, right? Like you're supposed to, or I would love to have a situation where I could just leave him in the bouncer and he can entertain himself and he doesn't need to be constantly stimulated or held. But I spoil him. The second he gets a little fussy, I pick him up and... I don't let him do any screen, so it's harder to entertain him for that reason. So I'm always like, literally Miss Rachel do. Singing, dancing, doing the most to keep you so happy. Ooh, it's beautiful. <gasps> Not the camera catching me scratching my kufa. Put your back into it, big boy. I honestly can't watch them install this. Like I can't, like it's freaking me out. I'm not a big heights person. Literally, when I stand at the top of the staircase and I look over, this already freaks me out. I'm not the biggest fan. But seeing this, I'm like completely freaked out. Like I cannot keep looking at this, but how stunning is this lamp? So this is like a rose gold color. And I already know at night, this is gonna give off the nicest 
most yellow lighting. This looks so good. It looks like a bunch of little champagne glasses. Now I'm in the mood to drink champagne. I'm on my Valentine's Day mood, my Galentine's Day mood. And is this not like a bunch of little champagne glasses? It's gorgeous and I feel like it really does make such a nice statement in the room. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this. So they're bringing the couch in 10 minutes, I think it gets here. The story with this couch is I'm literally, I've been hounding this brand to give me gifting on it because I know that this brand is gifting and I kind of assumed that they would give it to me and they never gave it to me so I bought it because I literally designed my space around this couch and I'm so sad. I was really banking on that gifting. I really got humbled. My sister's actually such a little bitch. I sent a picture in the group chat. I'm like, hear me out. What if we take a pic? I didn't mean like a group photo. I mean individually. Like what if the picture's taken from right here? Right? And like I'm standing right here. Or like one person standing like right here. Wouldn't that be a cute picture? And my sister in the group chat says that seems awkward. I said, wait till you see me working it. You're gonna wanna hop on the stairs too, sis. So yeah, this couch is coming and it's the statement of this room. Again, the vibes in here are grown up, but I do wanna still have fun and be playful. It's Miami and it is a fun house. Like the vibe we have going on isn't totally boring. So the couch is like a turquoise color. I'm curious to see how the color of this couch looks IRL. I think it's turquoise, Henny thinks it's blue, or you think it's green? What color do you think? Green. It's objectively not green. It's not green? R remember that. <laughs> it's turquoise, turquoise is blue. It's literally like the color of this. That, no. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. No, it's more blue. Also, like such a fancy word to say the foyer the foyer is coming together but that literally is what it's called and I want to show you what it looks like from up here because this is where the drama is BAM oof the vision really is coming to life like is this space not gorgeous I'm obsessed and granted I mean it's not fully done but it's gonna be cute. So on this corner, I'm doing a big green palm tree. Cause if you look up pictures of Miami in the eighties, that's kind of all it was. It was like stuff like this and lots of indoor palm trees, funny enough, that would go like to the ceiling. And that's not something that I've seen in a lot of different places as much as I've seen it in Miami. I have to do a walkthrough of this house with you because so many things have happened since I talked to you last. This is how my studio pretty much looks all the time. It's always gonna be covered in PR. It's always gonna be covered in packages. It's always gonna be a mess. And that is the beauty of it. And I'm down to embrace it. I mean, all I really do in here is like get dressed a million different times, throw clothes everywhere and film these little videos and hang with you. 
So for me to put together an aesthetic room that looked like a hotel that I felt like I would have to maintain nonstop, it would give me more stress than it would give me my little zone to be creative. So I am embracing. I also just really did not want to spend money in this room unnecessarily. I don't think, I actually don't think I bought anything new for this room besides this one thing from Ikea. And this is strictly to put PR. This rug is gorgeous. This rug was sent to me by Rugs USA. I really love the colors and the textures of this rug. The floor in here, you could tell that this floor was put in here in the early, early, early 2000s, but I love it. It kind of gives me New York loft or like a New York dance studio. So the energy that I was channeling when putting together this space specifically is that New York cool girl that has this big loft maybe or like a tiny apartment and is too cool to try to like furnish it or, or do a lot to it because the vibe in here is cool. Like the stripped down vibe is the charm. I have my baby bouncer next to my makeup desk. A lot of the times I'll put him in here. This is such a good one, by the way, the baby Bajorn bouncer. This one specifically rocks. I will put him in here and I will just face him at either himself in the mirror. He likes to look at himself or I'll face him at me and he can watch me do my makeup. And sometimes in the bouncer, he's good, like happy there for a good 45 minutes. So when I'm lucky, I can do a full, full beat and he's just watching me and he's happy. I already had this chair from my last place. It's from Lulu in Georgia and this goes perfectly in here. My idea. I also got this fun squiggly little lamp and just a piece of art. But again, I really don't want to do much in here. I feel like the beauty of this room really is the high ceilings and the natural light. This light also, I had it before. Uh, oh my God, yeah. If you remember this light, it's from literally every picture in that last apartment. Oh my God. In that last place, I probably posted like 20 photos on my feed from the same spot. It was like that spot with the two orange chairs and that light. And I'm glad. It looks really good in here actually. Like it's kind of stunning. And it's perfect because I already had it. And really when you make the smallest, smallest changes, it does vibe wise make a difference. I switched these out. This was very inexpensive and quick to do. And I added this little curtain right here. I'm not remembering right now exactly where it's from, but I think it's Ikea. Putting a tiny little curtain over this window just adds a bit of elevating. Just a little bit. I know it's a small detail, but sometimes if you do less big things and focus on some little just simple details, you can make a space just feel like it had some attention to detail. So the foyer is definitely the superstar part of the house, I would say. Changing this made such a difference, first of all, at night. All this warm lighting looks so good. It's honestly a disservice to be filming this during the day. Well, I told Tanish, I'm like, should I show them around at night or in the day? And he thought I was crazy for wanting to show you stuff at night. But seriously, at night, there's so many yellow lights that the whole place just feels so vibey, so romantic, so relaxing, like zen. Zen, 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 zen. It is my biggest pet peeve in life and sometimes you get so unlucky when you stay at like an airbnb or you go somewhere and there's not another option but it is my biggest pet peeve in life literally when the sun goes down to turn on any type of white lighting like it feels illegal to me it feels like my circadian rhythm is going to be thrown off like i'm so anti white light during the nighttime and when the sun goes down in this house these yellow lights turn on and the vibes, the vibes are just it. There are ways to affordably do this to any space. That light that I have down there, I'll show you right now, it's Ikea. And it gives off just such a nice yellow light throughout the entire space. And this thing rocks at night, you can't see it. But anyways, let me keep showing you the living room. I'm going to enforce a strict rule that absolutely nothing is allowed to be on this front entryway table. It is not a catch-all. By the way, this is the last 
video of showing you the house process because it's practically done. I mean, I'm gonna do an official house tour probably a couple of videos from now. I wanna do some other videos in between. I wanna do like morning routine, get ready with me for daughter doll, like bring you around, show you some mom life. Like I wanna get some regularly programmed content in there before I drop the house tour, but this is essentially it minus some cleaning and preparation that I probably should have done. Like had it been an official house tour, but I am waiting for a couple things to arrive, but for example, like an entryway table like this, this is right now because we're still in setting up mode, but I, I foresee 48 hours left to set up mode and then I'm gonna get strict with just the rules around here because we need to start treating it like it's done, even for us to enjoy it more. Like I do not want, that is not a catch-all. That is not a catch-all. That is a gorgeous entryway statement. And we cannot be putting mail on it or any spam. I'm like subtweeting him. I'm like, stop leaving your phone on the entryway table. Like, relax. I'm really turning into a housewife. Imagine me on R H O M, Real Housewives of Miami. Is that what they call it here? Oh God, I feel like the Miami girls are a little extra crazy. I don't think I would really fit in. Or maybe I would. Maybe I would actually. The living room looks pretty gorgeous. I'm waiting for one chair. There's just gonna be like one thin, beautiful chair. Not to sit, literally just for the vibes. And the living room is looking gorgeous. This rug is also from Rugs USA. I'm really sad because I think I might have asked for the wrong size and the girl at Rugs USA that's been so helpful is probably so sick of my emails literally every time i'm about to email her i'm like oh god but it's beautiful it's like the perfect shade of cream it's like a creamish yellowyish color but not too yellow this coffee table is from cb2 it's beautiful i love having just some woods that's something that i really wanted to make sure i didn't overlook with this space is getting some woods and overall i think i did a pretty good job of that. There's a lot of woods in here. There's wood in the dining room with the wood chairs. There's like wood side tables every here and there. And there's this wood coffee table. Something about just wood in a home to me reads grown up. And I love my fun, pretty different colored marbly tables also. I think those are a little bit more playful and a little bit more bougie and a little bit more cool, but sometimes just having different colors of woods also just around adds that nice grown-up feeling. I'm aware that I look nuts right now. Like I'm watching the footage back to make sure the audio picked up and I, I'm pretty sure I just splattered a whole thing of blush and a wrong foundation on my chin, but like I don't care. Like that, it, if you don't have a child yet, you will see. You will see. It's crazy. I used to actually do a beautiful no makeup makeup look every day and now I literally look nuts 86% of the time what is this glam and the hairs guys Ugh. this marble slab side table moment by the way this is not permanent this olive tree standing on the table I would never Okay, so delete that in your mind. She is not here to stay, but this table is literally 700 pounds. It's from Olive Atelier. Look them up on Instagram. They have the most gorgeous stuff, like very raw, natural pieces, and everything looks unique, and everything has gorgeous texture to it, and they really have a bunch of great pieces. This black chair is Henny's idea. It got here, and he instantly regretted it, and it was also final sales, so we cannot return this black chair. I actually think it's nice. I think it adds a masculine element to the space. Um, but we also can't return it, so here's my idea. I don't wanna do a podcast because right now I don't wanna commit to a podcast. I am, I do enough. Like I really, I do enough. Especially, like just not with a baby. Maybe later in life. But my idea is in these YouTube videos. Because I love watching podcasts personally and I'm I also like the podcast style format, so to give myself a reason to use 
this chair that Henny bought and can't return. I had the idea to get a podcast microphone, leave it plugged in here, and then whenever I'm feeling topic-y, whenever I want to speak about something in more of a podcast way, I figured I could sit here with my little podcast mic, speak my truth, go on a rant, but just to include that footage in this YouTube video, like in my YouTube videos, you know what I mean? We could come up with topics and you can ask me questions and we can do current events, maybe a little bit of pop culture. I think it would be pretty fat. This is the Ikea lamp that I was telling you about that just gives that perfect yellow lighting at night. This lamp also, it doesn't do much during the day. And I had plugged it in for the first time during the day. I'm like, why did I get this lamp? So dumb. It's not gonna do anything. At night, it literally gives the perfect amount of yellow lighting. It's so cool. It's like this velvety pink material and it gets a little bit wider at the base. And I just took the most fire Instagram in front of it. So now I love it even more. Thank you for being my prop, my queen. And this chandelier I like because it feels like a good mix of the two vibes that I have done in recent history, like the Miami groovy, funky, and the Scottsdale classic vibe that I did there in that house. And I just love this little corner. I like how the piece of art looks with the lamp, looks with the window, like this corner rocks, this room rocks, dining room, killed it, slayed, obsessed. And it is real life, so, I mean, as much as I show you the little aesthetic pockets of it, there's gonna be baby-related things everywhere. That's the name of the game, baby, but that's okay. I mean, this high chair actually kind of blends in with the wall perfectly. It's Baby Lalo. Lalo? I'm really familiarizing myself with these baby brands. I remember when I was pregnant and I was so just overwhelmed with the idea of a baby and being a mother and like just all of that seemed so unfamiliar that my friend Kyle was helping me build my baby registry and he was like telling me about all these brands and this is the best thing for this and this is the best thing for this and that whole thing was just so overwhelming. I, I don't know why, but um, yeah, I remember him telling me about this hydra specifically, Baby Lalo. And he's like, so aesthetic, da da da. And I remember just being so anxious. But here we are, everything's good, everything turned out great. This side table is from CB2 and it is perfect in this little couch corner. It really plays up the geometry, baby. It is giving geometry. I don't know if I should leave this table completely empty. Like, is that the vibe, the clean, sleek vibe, or should I dress it up? Don't know. Again, this is not an official house tour, so please don't judge me in my room. We have an embarrassing amount of water bottles everywhere. Yeah, this whole place needs to get cleaned up. Look at the curtains. Gorgeous. So some more curtains are going there. I think initially we were gonna do like a pottery barn, but it was so expensive, so we ended up choosing like a different, cheaper, more. That's Ikea. This is Ikea? That's Ikea tracks and the Ikea literal curtains themselves. It looks pretty good. I think once we steam them and we add the other two curtain yeah. sheets. You gotta do the whole thing. Like people iron them out. Like there's a whole thing of making Ikea look like literal, like they call them designer curtains. Like where they look really expensive. It's more about like, you gotta iron these out and then steam it all. And then do this like toothpick thing every sixth one. Like there's like a whole That'd be thing. a fun video for us to make. I think so, yeah. The bedside pendant is gorgeous. It's this maroon color. I think I've shown you this before, so let's not spend too much time here but again just cute yellow light everywhere always and at night it's the best and there's a rug going here like honestly this room is nowhere near done and it's a mess so let's just move on and because you stayed to the end of this video i will give you the tiniest little peek i haven't talked about this area shown this area explained this area of the house literally at all we call it honduras why do we call it honduras why it's called honduras does not matter but i haven't shown it to you it's separate from the house. It's like a pool house, I guess you could call it, or it's like a casita, whatever you want to call it. And we're making it cool in there. We were gonna do a guest bedroom, but you know what that gives me? That gives me, you have a house in Miami with a guest bedroom. People are gonna want to stay there nonstop. And we work from home and we have a baby. So I am not trying to open up my very own new Airbnb. Why is my camera not? Focus. We are not trying to open up 
a bed and breakfast, a friends and family Airbnb right now, like not with a baby. Um, I'm not gonna show you too much of it, but I will show you a little sneak peek. Okay, so this is it. It's actually pretty big inside. And right now we are putting a bar. It's gonna be the most beautiful bar. I mean, it's like a tiny little back room in the corner of it. Let me just show you a little bit. Let me just show you a little bit. Oi, oi. <laughs> so these mirrored subway tiles are gonna go all up on here and it's just like the tiniest room in here. And we're gonna put a little ice maker, a little station, a little setup. And it's super, super, super cool. But I'm not gonna show you the rest of Honduras. Not yet, not until she's I don't want to focus on her until she's done. I don't want to show you the process. I just want to be like, and this is Honduras, goodbye. Okay, so I'm so glad that this is finally done. Like this project is basically done. The life is now ready to just keep on flowing. We, me and Henny were talking about it, but when we left Scottsdale, we were in such a flow. Like the only reason we really moved to Miami was obviously because I got pregnant. We wanted to be around friends and family, da da da. But we were flowing in Scottsdale. We thrive on routine. We thrive on having just everything set up. And then we really get into this like amazing flow state. And finally, after, it's just been a long time coming. Finally, after all that hoop de doop de doop de da that happened at the last place, getting this place together, like we're finally entering our flow state. We feel it, things are where they need to be. It's just a good time to be alive. So thank you for hanging out with me. Let me know if you like the podcast idea for the black chair. And I will see you in the next video. For the next one, I want to do something to just hang with you. So do you want like, do you want to get ready with me? Do you want a morning routine? Do you want a nighttime routine? Do you want mom related things? Are we, do we not want mom related things? Let me know what you want for the next one. Cause I'm entering my flow state girl and I am excited to keep filming and hanging. So let me know. Ilya Millie.